Hey all you Mahoning and Shenango Valley Weather Geeks, it is the Wednesday edition of Weather for Weather Geeks. I think I'm going to try recording these more towards the evening rather than the mid-afternoon. I think more people are online at this time of the day, so uh, maybe more people will, uh, will check out this video if I record it a little later in the day. If you, if you have any feedback either way, uh, let me know. Uh, touch base with me on Facebook or Twitter. Let me know what you think about getting this online later in the day as opposed to earlier in the day. All right. On this uh, Wednesday, uh, it's tax day. We're halfway through the month, and it's a good time to look back at the month so far uh, across the U.S. It has been a warm April in a lot of places, with one exception, really, and that's the West Coast. And, of course, this is a big change from the winter pattern, which was warm in the West and cool in the East. So a nice reversal during the first two weeks of April. And we're going to hold on to these above-average temperatures for most, most, of the next five or six days. We'll talk about the long range uh, in just a second. All right, I'm recording this at about 7.30 p.m., and of course, so with sunset coming up, we're losing the visible satellite picture, but uh, we've had some milky sunshine today. It's been a pretty nice day overall. The rain has been stalled uh, down to our south, where it's been a soggy, soggy day in parts of the Carolinas, and down into parts of the deep south as well. Uh, temperatures have been comfortable. We've been above average today. Our high earlier this afternoon was 65. Here in the 7 o'clock hour, we've tailed back to 60. In Youngstown, look at all the warmth out across the middle of the country. It's uh, early evening and pushing 70 degrees along the Mississippi River. And then you run into our cold front, really easy to pick out here in the west, with temperatures dropping quickly. And yes, there's been some snow flying out here across uh, parts of the west including in parts of uh, Utah and into Wyoming and Colorado as well, even though you see some greens here. Um, some of this, in fact, is snow out across parts of the Rockies. There's the snow uh, across uh, Wyoming into the mountains of Colorado. All right, our weather as we head into the next couple of days will turn uh, kind of uh, a little more active than certainly today has been. It's been a quiet day. Let's show you uh, our simulated radar product here on the NAM model, North American model, for uh, for Thursday. Help you plan out the day. Uh, here's Thursday morning. Uh, we'll kick things off at uh, 9 a.m. with uh, a little bit of rain trying to sneak into western parts of Ohio. I think we start dry across eastern Ohio and western PA Thursday morning. But rain chances will increase as we head towards midday. Here's a look at noon, simulated radar here. You know, it's it's going to be light rain. Whatever falls tomorrow is it, not going to be anything all that heavy. Let me take off the ISO bars here, make this a little less busy. Uh, so, you know, a couple of showers trying to sneak in as early as midday, later in the afternoon. Uh, this moisture continues to stream in. There's not going to be any thunder and lightning with this, but there's going to be these hit-or-miss showers. You know, if you own a, an outdoor business, a landscaping business, mowing, that sort of thing, or if your job be, involves being outdoors, just be prepared for a couple of scattered showers tomorrow, but it, it's not a total washout, and any rain that falls is going to be pretty light. Here's a Thursday evening at about 8 p.m. You know, again, nothing really to, to write home about here. Switch over to the GFS and take a look at, uh, at uh, Friday then. Here's uh, the 17th this Friday, right? Yep. End of the week. And I do think that Friday starts out a little damp. You notice the, the light green here spit out by the model. But I think Friday's going to end pretty nice. As this moisture pulls away, we're going to see some sunshine Friday afternoon, and, and that's going to be a better day overall thanks to this, see this circular area right here. That's a closed area of high pressure building in from the north and west. And you weather geeks out there know, of course, high pressure usually means good things for us. And we'll see some sun Friday afternoon. And then what a beautiful day we have coming up on Saturday. Here's Saturday's weather map. And our surface high is pushed a little farther uh, to the east. Uh, it's no longer a circular area, but uh, you can draw a high right there if you want. And boy, temperatures on on uh, Saturday, really, really nice. I think we're going to get well up into the into the 60s even pushing 70. Notice the GFS here. I was about 68, 69, 70 degrees in most of our viewing area Saturday afternoon. Boy, enjoy Saturday. That's easily the better half of the weekend. I say that because uh, uh, we do have uh, some moisture coming our way on Sunday. Uh, let's take a look at Sunday, which is the 19th. This could almost be a washout coming up on Sunday. Uh, pretty good area of low pressure moving through parts of the Midwest. Warm front out here, cold front back here, and uh, showers around for a lot of the day, I think, on Sunday. Thunder's not real likely, but certainly some showers around. So if you want to play golf this weekend, do anything outdoors, wash the car, etc., etc., Saturday is definitely your day. And the pattern's going to start to change as we head into next week. As we take a look at, uh, at Monday, uh, the pattern definitely changing across a, a lot of the country, and it's, it's transitioning into a cooler pattern. This cold front, here's our low. 
And then our cold front's right here. This will bring more showers on Monday, and, and the air behind this is quite a bit cooler on, on Monday. Uh, not necessarily here, but it's the, the cold air is building out to the west Monday, and it's heading our way for midweek. So here's the temperature layout Monday afternoon. Easy to pick out our cold front. It's right here, and the air is not super cold behind it, but it's noticeably cooler, I think, for midweek. So we go towards the middle of next week. Let's take a look at, uh, say, you know, Tuesday afternoon. Uh, that's Monday. Let's go ahead to Tuesday. And just take a look at those temperatures. Uh, Tuesday afternoon, you know, this is going to be a little below average, I think, for midweek. We're talking highs 56, 57 maybe on Tuesday, with highs maybe a little cooler than that coming up on Wednesday. So a cooler pattern settling in for next week. Here's the 16-day outlook on the latest GFS Ensemble model. Uh, if you're new to these videos, uh, this is just a computer model. Actually, it's a, a bunch of computer models averaged together, if you will, all part of the GFS Global Forecasting System model. And these numbers are ne never to be taken literally, but we can easily pick out the trends that the model is showing, taking us all the way through the last day of April on the uh, 30th. So uh, the trend is definitely up as we head towards the weekend. There's our warm day Saturday. Sunday is, st is still above average, but with the rain, it'll be a little cooler. Then Monday, into the 60s. Notice what happens then for the middle of next week. Average highs middle of next week close to 60, and will be 5 to 8 degrees, it looks like, below that for at least a few days next week. So things are going to change, uh, but in the meantime, enjoy a continuation of the above average temperature regime. Pack the umbrella for your Thursday and get ready for a fantastic start to the upcoming weekend. Thank you for watching uh, the Wednesday evening weather for Weather Geeks. I'll see you right back here tomorrow and be sure and check out my forecast tonight on 21 News at 11 o'clock.